Uh, my second phase, uh, as far as the, um, uh, the, 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 the manure is concerned, is to actually uh, develop it a little bit further uh, and add in a certain chemical uh, and then dry it and then pack it so it would be a product to sell uh, you know, for, as compost mm -hmm. so the farmers can actually buy uh, other th from the area other than going to get manure from faraway places because to get manure you have to get it from Kampala or from Mitiana whereas it can easily be you know, done from here. So this is a product uh, if it can be developed a bit further. You just need to dry it, add a bit of chemical and then the packing. So my hope is that uh, in, in time to come I'll have a, a mini um, sort of uh, manure factory uh, next to the digester. So I'll, I'll make sure that this is covered up. We haven't covered this up uh, and the rain goes into it, which is not good, but we are still working on it. So this one needs to be covered and then it will be dry and then mix it with some chemical, dry it and pack it. So uh, Dad would have a product to sell. Can we have a coffee? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that remove the condensed condense air or water. Condense Condensation. Yeah. yeah. So you just um, do a little bit there. Yeah. Then just try to remove the oh, sure, yeah. so The condensed air is okay. In the pipe. Because after some time, uh, because of the heat, uh, water would accumulate in the pipes and then it would get mixed up with, with the gas. Uh, and then it wouldn't really work very well uh, on the stove and then the light. So you need to, yeah, to keep some jumping How does it go down. away? But to stabilize it, you uh, have to um, remove the water from the pipe. Is that before what makes the, the lamp, you know, yeah, so glow? It, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But another, you know, thing that I w I'm going to change a bit, which I didn't know before, is that uh, you need a separate pipe going direct into the light and a separate pipe uh, onto the stove because if you open, if you are cooking, light starts to go a little bit funny mm. simply because much gas is Thank going you. into it. Oh, yeah. So you need two pipes coming where just, okay, yeah, one from the director, it. one for light and one for Water heater, yeah. the chunk, the water, water tank there, and then we would have a water heating system uh, done, so then there would be no chakra. Um, John, would it, you see, you've got this system here now, you've got a donkey, yeah. which is obviously fired, wouldn't it be better to have just buy a, a combi gas and yeah. boil it, yeah. instead of trying to heat the... Yeah, the other yeah, I mean, but because of the, yeah, once I've done the processing of the gas, this is what, this was particularly used yeah. really for the, for the group. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping that I would have this job ready by this time. It would be more economical rather than trying to put a stove under a tank. Yeah, definitely. Then just have a yeah. gas going into a combi yeah. gas boiler. Yeah, but because it's, because of the corrosive effect yeah. of the gas, yeah. I would need to process the gas before it came into it. So this is really trying to just use the, the raw gas. Yeah. We need to know what what the effects are of burning that raw gas in the room. Yeah. Because we got rid of gas lighting in yeah. the UK because it was, it was carbon monoxide. Yeah. So it was a there is a bit of CO2 in, in the gas, but not not uh, too much. 60% is uh, um, a, a different chemical, and then 30%. Uh, CO2 and a bit of sulfur. So really, the, the process it needs to be yeah, done. It needs to be done. I think there's a help for us to the, the gas. Yeah. The gas. Probably yeah. not in the process like this because it's so airy. Yeah. It's got a nice air yeah. flow through. Yeah. But in, in, mm -hmm. in, in rooms yeah. that aren't ventilated, yeah. it could be a problem. And yeah. So there's a fire risk because yeah. with the plastic piping um, and, yeah. the, and the vacuum. I don't know whether the reg what happens if, if, if that caught fire at that end, for example, could the, could the fire go at the other end? Was there not oxygen at the other end, inside no. this house? No.
because the whole thing is completely closed. So if that caught fire now, that would just jet out? Yeah, it would, it would just jet out, it wouldn't pass by. It's oh. actually safe, far, far safer, safer than the, uh, the low pressure gas from shell. Yeah, okay. Um, um, because if there was something wrong with the ceiling, that then it would burst. But this one I haven't really felt, the, apart from the, the impurities. Um, that people would maybe breathe in, but once that is processed, mm -hmm. then you know the chances of this catching fire, you know, it's not much. Um, and because it smells, it's very hard to, you know, to, to, to um, for it to go wrong. Can, you smell it? Can I smell it? Uh, yeah. Does it smell like? Because we make our gas smell, so you can smell it. Well, this was John and Jen Bahia on his biogas project. <laughs>